This time we're going to look at the idea of incompleteness and the technologies that we crave in order to cope with it. And I, 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 I thought we could uh, look at uh, information and communication technologies as juju or juju. How many of us have uh, heard the word juju before? Okay. Let's hope that by the time the lecture is over, we would all be on the same page. In this lecture, I liken information and communication technologies, ICTs, or digital technologies to what we in West and Central Africa have the habit of referring to as juju. I invite us as scholars of the digital humanities to see in the region's belief in incompleteness and the compositeness of being as well as in the capacity to be present everywhere at the same time as an indication that we have much to learn from the past on how best to understand and harness current purportedly innovative advances in information and communication technologies for present and future articulations of what and how and why we are. It is also an invitation to explore the conceptual potential of the term juju, especially when it is freed of the stereotypes and prejudices often associated with it. The idea of digital technologies making it possible for humans and things to be present even in their absence and absent even in their presence is not that dissimilar to the belief in what is often labeled and dismissed as witchcraft or magic or the occult that lends itself to a world of infinite possibilities and impossibilities, a world of presence in multiple forms and forms in multiple places and forms and external powers to redefine, complexify and, and nuance reality. The lecture argues in favor of incompleteness as a normal uh, way of being and becoming. It challenges students of us as students of humanity, uh, whom we all are, to envisage a relationship between humans and digital technologies that is founded less on dichotomies and binary oppositions, uh, nor on zero-sum superpower games of conquest superiority and hierarchies. If humans are present in things and things in humans, thanks to the interconnections, the flexibility and the fluidity of being that comes with recognition of and provision for incompleteness in our being and creativity, it is important to see things and humans not only as inextricably entangled and blended, but also as open-ended dynamic composites. This has serious implications for how we as humans relate to technologies in general and ICTs in particular. And it's particular, especially relevant to the current uh, 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 fear and anxieties around artificial intelligence. Briefly on incompleteness and what I, uh, I, I, I ground this uh, uh, argument on. I grew up in West and Central Africa where we believe, organize and conduct our lives around the idea that everything in the world and in life is incomplete. Nature is incomplete, the suprasensory is incomplete, humans are incomplete, and so are human ideas and ideals, human action, human inventions, and human achievements. Everything is also incompletable. 
we believe that the sooner one recognizes and provides for incompleteness as a normal way of being, the better we are for it. We also believe that because of their incompleteness, people are not singular and unified in their form and content, even as their appearance might suggest that they are. And so are things, nature, technologies, and others, which through the value uh, uh, consciously uh, attributed to them by people mediate human relations ships uh, powerfully. Fluidity, compositeness of being, and the capacity to be present in simultaneous multiplicities in whole or in fragments are a core characteristic of reality and ontology of incompleteness. West and Central Africa is a region where interconnections and the interdependencies are recognized and celebrated and used as the dominant and desired template for organizing relationships among humans and between humans and their creations, the natural and the supernatural uh, sensory world. We could draw inspiration in this regard to inform our growing discomfort with an uncertainty about the rapid advances in digital technologies in general and artificial intelligence in particular. If interconnections are what activate and extend our potency as incomplete beings, the technologies we avail ourselves should be such that help us maximize in quality and time the sociality we crave by reaching out and reaching in through relationships. It is in recognition of incompleteness that humans in West and Central Africa are ever so eager to seek ways of enhancing themselves through relationships with other humans and in using their creativity and imagination to acquire and deflect magical objects that can extend themselves in their relationships with fellow humans and with the whims and caprices of natural and suprasensory forces or agents. To extend oneself using magical objects is either to act to persuade and dissuade, to achieve desired uh, expectations, or to repair, neutralize, and deactivate uh, the, uh, the magic, especially harmful, and actions of others. Such magical objects, which in the language of moder modernity are referred to as technologies, are more commonly known in West and Central Africa under local names that I have roughly translated to as, uh, translated as juju, a term and usage common throughout the region and amongst the African diaspora. As objects infused with magical powers or the magical powers themselves, or as belief systems that resort to magic and magically enchanted objects as part of their rites and rituals, juju or fetishes, as some prefer to call them, are not necessarily good or bad a priori. It is the intentions of the users that imbue them with the qualities of good or bad, right or wrong, ethical or and unethical outcomes. As tools, juju are there to be enchanted with, with the purpose and ethics of their owners and users and not to supplant them. Juju are instruments configured to respond to expectations in tune with the will, morality, and ethics of their designers and users. Juju are calls for both optimism and concern. While we need them to solve problems, we fear that they might develop a mind of their own and begin to act in ways that defy our authority and capacity to keep them in check. 
Such are the fears currently being expressed about artificial intelligence, the latest juju sensation in town, especially following the release of Chat GPT in November 2022. In other words, the character of a juju materializes from how it is domesticated, harnessed, or enchanted by its users in tune with their distinctive characteristics and expectations. Our juju are truly as and alive to us when infused with our biases and uh, pre uh, predictable in their qualities and outcomes. And if our juju uh, are com computer generated, exactly what data computers are fed and what outcomes they are trained to prioritize matters tremendously, argues the, the comedian uh, 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 John Oliver. Computer uh, generated or not, our juju, uh, what, we will, we, what we will them to be. A juju is only juju in the image of its owner and the users within a particular community of practice and legitim uh, legitimation of credibility. The cosmologies and ontologies that lend themselves to beliefs and practices pertaining to incompleteness and uh, techniques of self-activation and self-extension through objects and relationships have in the past been and still largely continue to be uh, mischaracterized and disparaged as witchcraft, sorcery, occult, paganism, superstition, and prim primitivism, even though deserving to be studied as a valid form of imagination of reality, not dissimilar to technologies uh, uh, in ambivalence and uh, in the interest of epistemic plurality. Paradoxically, not even the currency of new information and communication technologies championed by the digital revolution is seen as a redeeming uh, factor for such cosmologies and ontologies, imaginations, beliefs, and logics of practice. Peter Gishere and others have pointed not only to the modernity of witchcraft and magic, but Gishere's comparison between witch doctors and spin doctors affords us a fascinating documentation of the similarities in techniques and applications between the apparently superstitious expertise of the one and the purportedly scientific knowledge of the other. Perhaps because witchcraft is loosely contrasted with science, witchcraft studies have, as Jean-Pierre Varnier has observed, tended to fall short of required scientific rigor and the imperative of empirical substantiation. Through what passes for witchcraft, one underscores incompleteness of being as well as the fluidity and flexibility of the real and of the person in Africa or wherever such beliefs are common currency. That validates the epistemological relevance of popular beliefs concerning human beings, open, porous, vulner vulnerable to anything that is other and different from self. The subject finds an extension in the living and the dead, the parents, the dead elders, diverse beings such as uh, animals and spirits. Yet ambitions of dominance and superiority through conquest and refusal to acknowledge debt and indebtedness aside, it becomes evident that the future belongs with such disre uh, disregarded popular beliefs and practices informed by the reality of incompleteness. If humans at the state of nature are incomplete, all efforts are seeking to enhance themselves through ideas, ideals, and relationships with fellow humans and through borrowings and technologies, far from making them complete, points them to the humility of being composite in acknowledging and providing for th their debts and indebtedness to others, other humans, objects, nature, and the sup suprasensory. Incompleteness is an enduring condition in that 
the quest for extensions in, uh, in order to repair one's state of incompleteness only makes one uh, to realize one's incompleteness when confronted with all manner of extensions that one has not mastered. Moreover, extensions tend to work only partly and for some of the time, and of some of them actually undermine the degree of completion one thought one had achieved. It takes humility and courage to recognize and provide for incompleteness as a permanence of being. The fact that com completeness is an illusion that can only un un unleash sterile ambitions of conquest and zero-sum games of superiority, be these amongst humans or between humans and technology, is an invitation to explore, contemplate, and provide for a world of open endedness, interconnections, fluidities, and conviviality, a world in which no one has the monopoly of power or powerlessness, a world in which humans and things, that's objects and machines, complement each other and double as one another. Only a world devoid of zero-sum pretensions, aspirations, and the, brut um, the brutality violence and violations associated with ambitions of supremacy would allay concerns about the coloniality of datafication in and on Africa in the current context of artificial intelligence and the global rush for data by the giants of the, of the tech, uh, tech industries. Incompleteness dictates that while Africans may hesitate to throw the baby out of the bathwater of Western colonialism, it refuses to be manipulated yet again into a new era of Western technological superiority and its contrived interconnecting global and local hierarchies of humanity. Globally as well, only a world purge of zero-sum games of absolutes and stark dichotomies would re could reassure those anxious of being made redundant by robots. In a world of radical uh, dichotomies and binary oppositions, it seems enslavement is not in question. It is either machines turned humans, cyborgs, or humans turned machines, slaves. Non-zero-sum thinking that emphasizes interconnections and interdependencies or incompleteness and conviviality would explore how humans work with their juju rather than being replaced by the juju or vice versa. Digital technologies as juju. The idea of digital technologies making it possible for humans and things to reproduce one another and to be present even in their absent and absent in their presence is not that dissimilar to the belief uh, which uh, is labeled and dismissed, as I've, I've made the point already, uh, as witchcraft or the occult, uh, and, and which uh, is uh, 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 once, if you've, you're familiar with Western Central Africa, you immediately uh, 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 get. Uh, you understand uh, that that thinking is very uh, common. It is a world that we have come to understand a great deal better, only much later with the advent of ICTs such as the internet, the cell phone uh, and the smartphone, along with their magic and witchcraft of their instant availability and reachability, as well as their propensity to facilitate narcissism self-indulgence, and the keeping up of appearances. Unless someone steeped in an ideological commitment to a winner-takes-all modernity and its hierarchies of humanity and cultures would not see the parallels between what uh, uh, is called uh, amongst uh, the boom of, of, of the Cameroon grass fields as Msa and the internet. When the boom speak of Msa, it is a mysterious world of extreme abundance and infinite possibilities that is present everywhere 
and can be made visible and accessible by cunning individuals. Msa is dangerous in its ambivalence towards good and evil, pleasure and pain, and requires to be navigated with extreme care. Similar to Msa, digital connectivity increasingly imbues us with a deeper appreciation of the possibilities of a world that bridges and transcends the chasm between appearances and its opposite proximity and, and distance, the past and the future, thanks to algorithms, cookies, and computer-driven AI uh, mining, mining the gigantic uh, data sets that we, we feed them consciously and unconsciously. Not only does Juju enable, activate, and extend us with their energy as their composite or, uh, owners, we can make them work better by how we employ them and for how long we use them uh, ritualistically and otherwise. As Conwell argues, granted that the energy or power of a juju object is animated and accumulated through ritual, the older the object, the more it has been used and therefore the more powerful it becomes. In other words, we can domesticate them in the same manner that we humans are socialized. Juju are not meant to replace their human owners or to work on their own accord. They are expected to serve as extensions of, of, the, of human consciousness and agency and to enable us to outsource or to delegate to them certain functions of our being, relating and ambitions of becoming. The more our juju earn and trust, earn our trust, the more indispensable we make them and the greater their capacity to energize us with their potency and to represent us. When, when this happens, when the human and the juju are so entangled that they shadow and mimic each other, they truly qualify to pass for what Ashim Bembe terms the thing and its double as it, is fundament it, it fundamentally unsettles the dualistic assumption that every life is singular and that it is thus impossible for a single and same thing or a single and same being to, be several, uh, to have several different origins or to exist simultaneously in different places and under different signs. Our juju, need not have consciousness or feelings to be intimate with us. If juju appear to have a mind of their own, it is either because they have been so programmed or because they are faulty. A person and the ju juju mutually enhance each other the way that celebrities and their fans do one another. Their actions converge and feed off each other. If the relationship is cannibalistic, it is a case of mutual cannibalism, eating and being eaten. Being both incomplete, our juju and us remain interdependent in consciousness and agency. We function best together as entangled and blended composites, indebted to and dependent on one another. This is, not to, this is not dissimilar to how we and the ICTs in our positions relate to each other. For, for those with some experience in both the attractions and the dangers of AI, using Siri, chat GPT, digital maps, translator, translation, editors, and related interactive apps on smartphones and computers, for example, to speak to a machine and be spoken back to by a machine enables both the machine and the person to get better by learning from each other. Granted that we, scholars of the digital humanities or critical-minded users of such technologies have learned the right lessons from unequal encounters fueled by ambitions of dominance, and above all, 
that there is often a lot less or a lot more to things than meets the eye. There is need to think less in dichotomies and conflictual relations. We need to explore interconnections, even among apparently unlikely bedfellows such as humans and the digital machine-driven software we create to extend ourselves. In light of our ever-growing interconnections and entanglements with machines, we can ill afford to impoverish our humanity or what it means to be human by thinking in zero-sum terms. To be human is not only a biological reality, but it is also, few would, would, would uh, quibble, a socio-cultural, political, economic, and technological reality, experienced not as disparate and disconnected layers, but as a well-blended compositeness of being. To be human is to seek conviviality amongst the biological, the sociocultural, the political, the economic, and the technological. Being human is never complete without the extensions and multidimensionality that keep open the doors of hope and ambition for life as an unending process of debt and indebtedness in encounters. To recognize and provide for the incompleteness of our humanity and creativity is about being humble but hungry. The digital may not be the hyper-rationalized world apart from apart that some of us would wish, nor is it necessarily a less uh, authentic experience from our everyday lived offline realities. With this in mind, it could be argued that the future of being human is firmly in the past and the unfolding present, even as we continue to claim and provide for creative innovation. The West and Central African tradition of self-extension through creative imagination that privileges cosmologies and ontologies of interconnection in myriad ways holds great promise for theorizing the interconnections between humans and ICTs. Partaking in a, cosmo a cosmological uh, epistemology of infinite possibilities of forms and transformations of being uh, allows one to see things in people and people in things and how indebted to one another things and people are. Juju, as used in this address, is a technology of self-activation and self-extension, something that enables us to rise beyond the ordinariness of being by giving us potency to achieve things that we otherwise would fall short of achieving, were we to rely solely on our natural capabilities or strengths. It is true that our bodies <laughs> if well cultivated physiologically, psychologically, and sociologically uh, to achieve particular ends could become phenomenal judges, enabling us to explore the limits of the body and to achieve extraordinary feats. But even with such technically trained, programmed, or disciplined bodies are likely to encounter challenges that require additional potency. In other words, while our bodies have the potential to be our first juju, they, are eventually, they, they eventually require juju for us to be efficacious in our actions or transcend established levels of efficacy. As we have gathered since my first uh, Jensen lecture, the writings of Amos Tutuola and the universes he depicts are replete with examples of how humans the natural and, and suprasensory worlds summon creativity and imagination through jujus to interact with one another and to make evident that no single agent, human or non-human, machine or natural, is free of or has the monopoly of incompleteness. Any of us remotely uh, familiar with Amos Tutuola's writings would know what I mean by juju. And uh, in, in, in 
in any of the, take whatever story he's written, uh, you would see that often palm wine and juju are key activators. When his protagonists are adults and need to feel, think, dream, and act like, uh, like a child again, they are able to reactivate or rekindle their fantasy worlds and spaces by drinking palm wine or by using the juju in their position. The same is true with those of us who are familiar with life in West and Central Africa. In the written lecture, I provide an excerpt of uh, Amos Tutuola's novel, uh, from, uh, from, from the novel, The Witch Heavenlist of the Remote Town, uh, on how the brave hunter of the rocky town described by Amos Tutuola as born and die, baby, prevented from returning to the bush of ghosts by his earthly father's powerful juju, prepares for the long and dangerous journey to see the witch herbalist of the remote town for a cure to his wife's uh, inability to conceive. Uh, he arms himself with a variety of jujus. And uh, the, the comprehensive adornment of the hunter's person with juju of various human and natural origins captures remarkably the centrality of juju as a great activator in Tutuola's uh, uh, universe and its rites of passage. Uh, at this uh, juncture, I was at uh, Sof 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 Sophia's office, and she decided to use the latest juju in town, uh, AI, to generate an image that uh, we could present as the image of a hunter, uh, at least uh, as described uh, uh, by Amos Tutuola in that particular novel. So there you have uh, Tutuola in collaboration with AI to give you a sense of uh, a juju, and thanks to uh, uh, Sophia. Incompleteness in motions provide one with possibilities to test the potency of the juju, as well as encounters, explore and adopt new juju. In, in his study of popular Yoruba juju music, uh, Christopher Waterman observes that cosmopolitan individuals are, are, are very adept at interpreting multiple languages, cultural codes, and value systems skill which enables them to construct styles that express shifting patterns of urban uh, identity. Adding that such cosmopolitan individuals are the master uh, syncretizers of modern Africa. The same is true of juju as magical technology of self-extension. The more cosmopolitan one's repertoire of juju, the more likely one would uh, find an answer for the challenges that come one's way in one's mobility, even if sometimes requiring an improvisa improvisational blend of juju from different origins, as uh, Ute uh, uh, Rosenthaler's work on the purchase and circulation of cults in southeastern uh, Nigeria and southwest Cameroon shows. If as Waterman argues, uh, in Yoruba thought, power is generated through relationships and a person becomes powerful only through his or her networks of willing supporters. One could argue that the potency of a juju is measured from its programmed capacity to learn, adapt, adopt, and work in a network of juju complementarity at a person's disposal. Just like the, the, the many uh, uh, jujus that the hunter uh, took on the, himself to prepare himself for the, for the hunt. In this connection, juju the magic meets juju the music in its compositeness with a quote, with, to quote Waterman again, roots in diverse African, African American and European sources and a history that is a chronicle of creative responses to colonialism and an illumination of the values and social uh, perceptions of groups excluded from most histories of modern Africa. Had Yoruba's, uh, no sorry, had Tutuola's hunter 
uh, Brev Hunter being a person of our times, uh, undertaking a similar journey, he would have added onto his collections of jujus for the trip a smartphone armed with Google Maps to facilitate navigation along with airports uh, to be able to access YouTube videos and songs on Spotify of the appropriately named energizing and enchanting Yoruba Juju music. For as Waterman observes, in Yoruba tradition, sound is an important mode of social and supernat uh, supernatural communication. To two toilers, uh, border uh, transgressing quest hero narrators such as the brave hunter of the rocky town, things such as juju can make a difference by enabling the quest hero uh, or hero to transform themselves into something else when hard pressed by the adversaries or uh, the formidable challenges facing them and to revert to their forms of origin after the danger or challenge or adversary has been overcome or uh, a, a mission accomplished. And uh, the, this technique of, 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 of metamorphosis and transubstantiation uh, is used extensively in uh, Tutuola's uh, 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 works. And, and, uh, uh, and so is the proliferation of reaching out with your jujus and taking in the jujus of others in order to make yourself even stronger. A, a digital parallel to the hunter's preparations for a journey of a thousand dangers and unpredictability would involve vulner, uh, uh, wearable technologies such as uh, Fitbit, activity tracker watches, long uh, along with smartphones and high range four wheel drive cars that are armed with google maps and uh, uh, gps act uh, navigators related apps automatic weapons and kindred accessories science fiction movies and television series with cyborgs uh, part human and computerized beings such as robocop uh, Star Trek, uh, Battlestar Galactica, Cap Caprica, Person of Interest, have both inspired much of present day technologies and offered a template for thinking machine human interconnections of the sort that would fit comfortably in the universe depicted by Amos Tutuola in any of his novels. The digitally sophisticated electric car uh, smart car, a la uh, Elon Musk, uh, Tesla, and the futuristic uh, super intelligence film starring Melissa McCarthy are fascinating examples of the possibilities and challenges of being jujued by algorithms and artificial intelligence without necessarily being compelled to make simplistic choices between being human and being a machine. The more juju a person has at his or her disposal, the better their chances of uh, being efficacious. For not only do jujus work in com uh, combination, as I've argued, uh, uh, they, they can also easily disappoint you when you need them the most. We, as students of digital technologies, uh, would know only too well uh, how disappointed sometimes jujus, uh, jujus can be when they are summoned to perform. Even with our uh, per, uh, perfected modern uh, technologies, uh, there is no absolute guarantee that when uh, you, you, you need them, uh, they will work w with one or uh, to enhance uh, one's potency uh, when required. Equipping or extending uh, oneself with purportedly more scientific and technical judges, such as computers, desktops, or laptops, cell phones, smart or, or, or ordinary, basic, uh, and other mobile devices, tablets, iPads, is well, is still no guarantee that uh, they will not freeze or deactivate themselves just when one needs them the most. Many a juju require electricity to energize themselves and perform properly. But in context of unstable or irregular electricity supply, where, uh, and where there are no batteries, power banks, and alternatives, 
uh, in short supply. The potency ordinarily associated with such juju is equally unreliable. Similarly, chip dependent hardware uh, most likely to waste away where there is a shortage of chip. This would be the case with AI, for example, which uh, currently depends on computer chip designer uh, NVIDIA with a command of about 95% of the graphic processing unit market for uh, machine learning and thanks to which uh, ChatGPT was trained. If humans need Ubuntu to function, Juju are no exception. It is perhaps for this reason that the Juju men and women of West and Central Africa do not shy away from the use of modern uh, stroke scientific technologies uh, alongside uh, what they, they normally like to call the African uh, uh, Jujus. So they combine those for good effect. And all you need to do when, uh, if you wanted to Google the word Marabou, uh, 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 you see that uh, uh, Marabou's in France, Canada, and Belgium, for instance, uh, 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 would takes you to websites and contacts uh, of, to Marabou's in, in Senegal, Mali, or Niger, and uh, uh, they'll have the agents and phone numbers in different geographies, just to tell you how flexible they are. In Cameroon, for example, it's not uncommon to find a diviner summoning diasporic uh, uh, Cameroonians on computers and smartphones and tablets to appear and answer questions about the afflictions and the predicaments of concerned relatives left behind. Uh, one does not need to be present or nearby uh, to, uh, to be the subject of a spell or a curse with technologies that have learned to defy or transgress the rigid policing of borders and, and boundaries. And uh, uh, it tells you that uh, 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 these jujus offer uh, us as much opportunities as well as uh, 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 anxieties about the established way of, of, of being that we tend to take for granted. Uh, could our COVID experience uh, of the past two years uh, have uh, some lessons for us on how to use the same juju uh, to bypass uh, such fixations with policing uh, 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 mobility? Just as one needs juju to activate oneself, uh, some jujus equally need activation by other jujus to be effective. Uh, hence the need to constantly lubricate uh, relationships with one's juju supplier, be it a witch doctor, a soothsayer, a diviner, an oracle, a manufacturer, software maker, service provider, or whoever has supplied one the juju. So uh, jujus uh, work best within the network. And one thing that is common with beliefs in inter interconnections and interdependencies, both in terms of uh, people and, and relationships that make them, as well as machines that need other machines to work, is the element of what I refer to as charging, discharging, and recharging. Uh, and I argue that a charge dispensed in order to energize something else, be this another human being or be this another machine, is not sterile, uh, it's not a charge wasted. So if you charge, you, dis you discharge into relationships, uh, you make uh, uh, possible for others to, to be charged up and to charge you in turn uh, when, when the need uh, arises. Again, in the, in, the, in the written lecture, you would, you would have the argument uh, 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 fleshed out more. So, to conclude, I would say many Africans uh, in, in the region that I, I, I have spoken about, Western Central Africa, 
credit people with an ability or a capacity to be present in and to draw sustenance from many places at the same time and to be able to see, feel, smell, hear, hear things that are not tangible and visible in ordinary terms. Put differently, their belief in the human capacity to decipher the multiple spices and ingredients of being human, to discern interconnections despite an appearance of discontinuities. Even before the invention of airports, to enter a conversation with someone or something that is not palpable does not necessarily amount to being delusional or superstitious. Many Africans who believe in the divine magic and the old juju would find lots of parallels between these technologies and digital technologies such as the internet and the cell phone, as well as machine learning software such as OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT's, uh, Chat Google's Bard, and Microsoft's Sydney. I hope I have convinced you not only to use Juju and ICTs or digital technologies interchangeably, but also of the need to explore the conceptual potency of the term Juju, especially when it is freed of the stereotypes and prejudices often associated with it. Thank you.